Hi family, welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena Zinchak. If you're new, welcome. My channel is a per DIY, natural hair and beauty. If that's something that interests you, come on and join the family. In today's video, we are going to be making our homemade all natural shampoo. This shampoo is made with all natural ingredients. It is very moisturizing and it also contributes to hair growth. Don't forget our hair grows from our scalp, so from a healthy scalp to a long and healthy beautiful hair. So if you love to see how I make my homemade shampoo, then please keep I will be using half cup of coconut milk. Coconut milk does a lot for natural hair. We naturals or even relax hair, it acts as a great conditioner to soften the hair. It is high in beneficial fat and this makes it an efficient way to soften the hair for manageability. Its molecules are excellent at penetrating the hair shaft. So you can be sure coconut milk will not just sit on your hair, it too penetrates into the hair. Our next ingredient will be our pure castile soap from Dr. Berners. It is made from all safe, simple, plain oils. It is considered safe for even the most sensitive skin types. It can help with already acne prone skin. The oils found in castile soap penetrate pores with their antibacterial agents helping to clean your skin without drying it out. Now when applied to your hair, it also helps to soften your hair without it drying out your natural sebum that is found on your scalp. I'm also adding in half cup of castor soap into my coconut milk. I decided to go with the lavender flavor um, because I just love the smell from lavender oil. It has that soothing and calming um, effect also on your skin. So if there are other flavors into it that you can also give a try. And after washing this, my hair smells so, so nice. Even my husband told me, oh wow, your hair is smelling very good. Our next ingredient, which is rosemary essential oil. Rosemary essential oil strengthens circulation beyond stimulating hair growth. Rosemary essential oil is used to prevent premature growing and dandruff. It may also help dry or eat. If you want to improve both hair thickness and hair growth, rosemary oil is a great choice thanks to its ability to improve cellular generation. I will be adding in about 10 drops of rosemary oil into this. You can add up to 15 drops and it will also be fine. Tea tree oils has anti funker and antimicrobial properties, make it effective for treating dandruff and dermatitis. Tea tree oil can clear the follicles and allow your hair to breathe. It can also moisturize the scalp while preventing buildup of excess oil on the scalp. All this facilitates to healthy hair growth. I will be adding in a per 15 drops of tea tree oil. Peppermint essential oil also has antiseptic and antimicrobial properties which help to cool the scalp, eliminate dandruff and fight lice. 
It is used in hair products to relieve or dry scab, stimulates hair growth, and give hair a healthy shine. I will be adding in about 10 drops of peppermint essential oil. There are a lot of benefits of using Phytomet E oil on our hair. It can stimulate capillary growth in your scalp, which in turn supports hair growth. It prevents breakage and split ends. Phytomet E oil has antioxidants, which even boost hair's elasticity and shine. I will be adding in about 20 drops of Phytomet E oil. Organic neem oil is known for its medicinal properties. It is an effective herb to treat hair loss due to its antibacterial, antifungal, and anti-inflammatory properties. Neem is an excellent way to get rid of dandruff. It helps the hair follicles to become stronger and also encourage hair growth. If you are new to my channel, this brand of organic neem oil is my product. In case you like to check my website out, I have natural and organic um, products for hair and skin. So I will leave the website down below for you. I will be adding in about 10 drops of organic neem oil. Now just give all your ingredients a very good stir. This shampoo can last you for a month. That is why I love to make mine in smaller batches because I will be using it on my daughter hair and myself hair. If you want, you can store it in the fridge, but it's not compulsory. And yes, it forms very well, and it feels very, very soft. So let's go and give this a try. Hi guys, so I just wanted to come on here very quick to review this my new shampoo to you guys so I wash my hair with it this is what I use today and then I went in with my deep condition treatment and after I'm just going to keep my hair in this three braids for at least like three four days and then I will take it down and re moisturize it now when I tell you that this is one of the best shampoo that I have used it's the truth um, sometimes I use some store-bought shampoo and then sometimes I use my black rice water shampoo some people had um, a little bit of problem with the black rice water shampoo so I decided to um, give this a try come out with this recipe and give it a try and see if that is something that I can recommend to you guys now starting up in the shower um, I wet my hair for like 30 seconds and then I just spray some of the shampoo into my hand and then apply it to my hair the moment it touched my head I felt it just melted into my head onto my scalp and then the little bit of peppermint um, essential oil that I added into it I had a little bit of tingling sensation which I love I love it I felt that it got my scalp very clean it got my hair clean but not stripping which is very important during the winter um, month you don't want to have a very hard um, a rough shampoo that will strip away all our natural sebum you want a shampoo yes that can clean your scalp and your hair but also leave your hair moisturized now I give it to this shampoo I bet that um, the coconut milk also help to give it that um, moisturizing feeling and oh my oh my if you haven't tried any other 
um, of my DIYs recipe and you are new to my channel and you are looking into using your homemade shampoo, this is something I would say go in for it and you will come back and thank me later. And I hope you guys really do give it a try and I would love to know how it also um, work out for you on your hair. Right now my head is feeling very, very soft very moisturized and i give this a 10 star if it had 10 star i would give it a 10 star so i hope you guys can give this a try and i bet you will love it as much as i do so if you love this video can you please give me a like leave a comment down below and subscribe i will see you in my next video bye bye